this episode of Cobb TV, we are talking about the drumming style of Nathan Folliwell from Kings of Leon. <laughs> Let's get into this by first starting with his influences. His dad would preach at different Pentecostal churches doing revivals, and the mother would play the piano in the musical segments for these revivals. But his first influences, even though he was a singer, his first drumming influences was actually different drummers that would play at these churches. But he's also mentioned that Levon Helm is his all-time favorite drummer. And when you listen to that first Kings of Leon album, there is a lot of southern rock, country, Americana influences, but it goes beyond boom chuck, boom chuck. He's holding down these awesome cut time beats, but playing with very, very unique and intricate bass drum patterns. Let's take the song Genius as a great example of this. So in between the first album and the second album, Aha Shake Heartbreak, Kings of Leon actually had a cool opportunity to open for the Strokes during their Room on Fire tour. And because they were such a hit in the UK, you start to hear more indie rock influences kind of take a hold of their music. And that's when his uniqueness in his drumming style started to come through. So let's take a track like Slow Night So Long as a great example of him starting to kind of incorporate more funky beats into their playing. Perhaps one of Nathan Folliwell's most defining characteristics is the way that he plays accents and ghost notes. Let's take a groove like the bucket for example. He also likes to use this accent ghost note technique in his drum fills. And another great example from the album Aha Shake Heartbreak is going to be on the song Raz. to say how cool it is the way he switches the backbeat quite a bit. In fact, some of his trademark grooves, he's only playing the backbeat on beat two. Just take, for example, the track Where Nobody Knows as a great example of how unique his styles of grooves are. As we move forward into their third album, Because of the Times, this was after they had opened for U2, and they really wanted to step up their game and play more arenas, so they changed their sound, started playing more open, leaving more spaces in between the notes. 
but he's going to apply this accent ghost note technique on the song Knocked Up. What I actually really love about the track Knocked Up is how he's basically playing a train beat, so back to his southern rock influences. He's actually using his right hand to play the hi-hat, so we actually have a unique blend of disco and southern rock sounds happening at the same time. Twitter AMA, someone asked him what the hardest Kings of Leon songs to play on drums were, and he had two mentions for this. One was the song Black Thumbnail, and the other one is McFearless. And I remember the first time hearing McFearless, I was like, what the hell is he doing? to say I really really love the way Nathan uses his entire drum kit. He actually added a, another snare drum during the Because of the Times album and he would play that off to the side of the hi-hat on to the left side and he'd have the snares flipped off and one of the first tracks that he used this on is going to be True Love Way. Perhaps the best example of him using this combination of snares off tribal sounding snare drum and mixture with his drum grooves, that backbeat on two thing that he does in Where Nobody Knows, is going to actually be on the song Manhattan. emphasize enough how much I love the way Nathan uses the entire drum set as well as the addition of auxiliary percussion like the tambourine and the cowbell. Nathan also likes to use mallets and brushes to achieve a wide array of different textures, tones, and dynamics. And perhaps my favorite example of him using the brushes is actually going to be when they play the song Revelry Live. I love how he starts in nice and quiet with this really cool hip hop groove, and then he comes in crashing nice and loud when that first chorus pops in. My all-time favorite Nathan follow-up groove is actually going to be from the album Come Around Sundown on the track Birthday, which might even be my favorite Kings of Leon song. During the chorus, he's actually playing a polyrhythm on the bass drum. If we take the backbeat out completely and we just listen to the hi-hat and the kick drum, we have that 3 over 2 polyrhythm, but bring the backbeat back in and you have a groove that totally messes with your head, but is so appropriate for that chorus. Now 
for those of you who have been following the channel for a while, you know that we love to talk about odd time signatures. And so perhaps the most unusual of time signatures in Kings of Leon music is going to be on the song 100,000 People, where he's playing a really cool 16th note hi-hat groove, but in 7-4 time. And there you have it, just a small taste of Nathan Folliwell's drumming style. He is also a very, very strong backup vocalist, and that is a key part in the Kings of Leon's music, all right? This is going to be one of my all-time favorite drummers, so check out the playlist that I made if you're new to the Kings of Leon's music and you want some of Nathan's best drumming works. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more epic musical content. But in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.